What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Peter Bluff Guy. Hey! And we are here with another One Piece post chapter discussion slash theories, speculation, stream, whatever you want to call it, right? Well, we're going to talk about the previous chapter and where do we go from here? You know, what, what could we speculate? What, you know, what, you know, what do we make from some of the stuff from the chapter? Hey, we hear it over. Anyway, before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Also comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the chapter. Let me know, you know, some of your theories, some of your speculations, you know, do you agree with some of the stuff we say? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments. Follow me on Twitch so you can catch my live streams in real time. You can engage with me in real time. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook just to stay updated on what I'm doing. Also, join the Discord. Join my community. Join the Discord. That is the best place to engage with me. I engage there with my community all the time. I try to stay active as much as I can, right? Now, I can't always stay active. Sometimes I'm streaming. Sometimes I'm editing. <laughs> I can't always stay active, but I, I do try to stay active. And if you if you hit me up on Discord, I'll definitely try to respond to you as quick as I can. But anyway, let's get into this discussion. All right, so we got Joy Boy in the building. We will probably be having... Uh, our recurring guest Cube and Angel coming in a little later. You know, they might make it. They might not. I don't know. But what's good, Joy Boy? For now, it's just going to be us two. What's up, man? Well, what's up, man? What you think of the chapter? Oh, great chapter, bro. Great, great chapter. Great chapter, man. It was a great chapter. I definitely... I To me, last chapter was still just... Just, just there. But th this was a great chapter as well. I'm not, I'm not. I don't even want to compare. You know, they're both great in different ways. But last chapter, I, man, just the hype was real, man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I liked having some uh, crew interaction. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to have that. It's been a while since we really had that. You know, especially as much as we had this chapter. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, uh, like also when they were ragging on Zoro. That was a throwback to when they did it, uh, when Luffy called him Four Sword Style back after they <laughs> left BB in Alabasta. Four Sword Style. <laughs> All right, so, uh, man, where do we start? I guess we could start from um, the very beginning of, of this chapter, right? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I've got some stuff in the, the chat, too, for Discord, for the YouTube stream. Okay. Okay. Like, you got stuff in the chat? Yeah, yeah, I've got some pictures in there. But, uh, the last stuff I sent, it was about, like, the, the cover page. Oh, like the... Like the pictures of the bear with the writing on its face? Yeah. So that, that was, like, the only thing Oda really changed. Like, because even, like, the characters are kind of in the same outfits. Yeah, so the one the yeah. old the the old one said freedom, and mm -hmm. this one says we stand for liberty. And also, like the three lines under freedom over the bear's eye, kind of looks like a sun too. So I wonder if Oda was hitting at it way back then. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Even though on the new one, it's, it doesn't look seem to be there. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of seem. It, it seemed like it, it was like erased or something. It, it does kind of seem like it was there, but seem a little like it's erased. Oh yeah, it is kind of still there. I see. It. Yeah, yeah. Like they kind of erased it, and you know, maybe that's like still the same bear, and they just uh, <laughs> they they wanted to change the uh, you know, they wanted to change the writing or the words try and get out of this i think freedom and liberty are like the two things that stand out the most though 
Yeah. Especially when he brings it back for the <laughs> chapter about Luffy's dream. Yeah. Nope. All right. Well, let's uh, let's kind of get into to um the beginning of the chapter. We got we we talk we see Luffy, you know, or or Robin pretty much telling Luffy about what happened, right? About how Sabo is being portrayed to being uh, the killer of Cobra, or the he's portrayed to have assassinated Cobra. Right, I mean, I think that's pretty cut and dry. You know, I think um, yeah, yeah. I I I never believed that Sabo did it. You know, because a lot of people was talking about, oh, well, what dra- what is Dragon going to do to the eight to Sabo? I'm like, I don't really think it matters because I don't think Sabo killed him. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever. Well, it, looks like, huh? it looks like from this chapter, he he wouldn't have to either. <laughs> yeah, Sabo told him. He's like, look, I didn't kill him. At the end of it, right? So, um, I mean, you got anything else to add to that? Because, I mean, like... I mean, not really. I think it's just uh, confirming what we we all pretty much thought happened. Okay. That Saba didn't do it and that he's being framed for it. All right. So, uh, all right. So, um, kind of staying in that same realm, right? Because... The crew was talking about going to Alabasta and then they was talking about they was talking about going to Mary Joa. Do you do you see do you see like a possibility of the crew or like maybe a future arc where the straw hats have to go save Vivi potentially? Because I was like from the beginning of this arc, like or not art, but this chapter, right? But beginning of this chapter, I was getting it. Like if we didn't get what we got later in this chapter, I was getting the vibe that we were probably going to have like a art where the straw hats were going to have to go help Sabo and Vivi. Like I assumed that Vivi was with Sabo and I was thinking maybe it's going to be a situation where the straw hats are going to have to go to wherever Sabo and Vivi are and save them. Mm-hmm. Like that's kind of where I was thinking. Like, what, what what do you think? Well, yeah, yeah. Like I was thinking that way before this chapter, but like for this chapter, I was I was thinking like, how how would Sabo end up in the throne room? My thought is like after whatever happened with Cobra, that someone took Vivi and was taking her to Eam. Yeah. So that's, uh, that that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. That's a good question. That's a good question. Like I was I was thinking that maybe Sabo was impersonating a guard. Cuz I think at well, one well, point he, he, he was disguised he, as one. He, he, yeah, yeah, he was. Because he was uh with uh his brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think I think you know somehow he got in there as a guard. Maybe no, maybe nobody noticed, and you know that's what it was. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, cause, cause I'm I'm just getting this vibe that we're we're gonna have to um go save Vivi, unless the right, world government right. has Vivi. Do you think well, that's think, a possibility? I think right now, I think Eam has Vivi right now. You think Eam has Vivi? Yeah. Um, I kind of so, might agree with you. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so, so, like, go, uh, I'll just wait until we get to it. I yeah. I kind of have a little theory on that. Yeah. When we get to <laughs> Lucia. Yeah, like, yeah, not to speak too much on that, but just one of my, uh, one of the things I've observed was, it didn't seem like Vivi was with Sabo and Sabo didn't really say anything about Vivi being with him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get that either because I I would think Oda would show Vivi with Sabo. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, if she's with the world government, if she's prisoner of the world government, and this might be more of like 
big war stuff, right? This might be more along the line as big war stuff. Maybe the war starts because the Straw Hats have to go save Vivi from the world government. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of where I'm getting, because it's just how they were so, in the beginning of this chapter, how they were so giddy on going to save Vivi. And then Zoro was like, he, he brought up Ace. Like, he says, look, Ace, you know, he compared Vivi with Ace. He said, remember when Ace wanted to, uh, you know, you said Ace has his own journey and you didn't go to save Ace until he absolutely needed it? Mm-hmm. Maybe it might come to a point where Vivi is going to absolutely need to be saved in the Straw Hats. This time, this rescue thing is the all the Straw Hats. And they're the ones who have to go save Vivi. And they have to ask for help from the fleet, from, you know, all their allies. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm thinking this might be going. But I think this has been a foreshadow of them having to eventually go save Vivi. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I think there's a little bit more to it, too, though. Like what? Because I, 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 my my thought right now is that Vivi, him getting Vivi was what allowed them to be able to use what we presume at Uranus. Hmm. Uh. Cause, cause why, why wouldn't him be spamming that shit until now? Huh. Let let's save that. Let's save that for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what that, that, that's what I was saving. <laughs> yeah, let, let's save that. Let's save that. I, I, I'm curious. Like, I, I'm curious uh, uh, of of that. Whatever your thoughts are on that, because I, you know, I got my own thoughts, and that was a very meaty chunk of, of the stream. Uh. We got B Wizzle in the chat. He says, I got a theory about Bonnie and how she ended up on the Sunny. Hey, B Wizzle, do you want to join the stream? Do you want to join the uh, voice chat? Yeah, I, can, uh, I also have a prediction on the next next island, too. And I'll save that for the end. Oh, he said he got to dip in five minutes. All right, okay. Well, because I was going to save, I was going to save the Jory Bonnie stuff. But I, I I I can let you on I can let you in the chat real quick just to uh give your thoughts on that even you know we we'll, we could we could talk about some Jory Bonnie stuff and you know I don't mind um not it's it's gonna be the other voice chat you're in the wrong voice chat bro I, I gotta give you permission first. All right, you you got permission now. So it's the other voice chat, the YouTube stream guest. So YouTube stream guest. All right, you're back, back, back. Uh, I think you got someone in the back. I never mind. I don't hear it no more. But go ahead. What what is your what was your theory? What did you want to? All right. So basically, on the line, my hero academia, Damian Airy type stuff. Jewelry, Bonnie. Rewinded Kuma to before he was a pacifista, but he would still have his devil fruit power. Yeah. So he smacked her over to Luffy and them. Awesome. If you can go anywhere in the world, where will you go? Type stuff. Ah. Okay. Um. Because we kind of we kind of touched on. I mean, the new Jory Body thing. That's new. So I mean, yeah. That that's actually that's that's a great point. That is definitely a great point. We kind of touched. We kind of touched on Jory Bonnie rewinding Kuma, and I think this this was like that art where we see Kuma. Well, I, that that chapter. Yeah, we this, see. this is the last chapter I just was in discussion with. Yeah, and we talked that, about that's that. That's what I brought up. And yeah, you did. You did bring that up, Joy Boy, because you said maybe he re- she rewinded him. And my yeah, thing got is, got rid of all the cybernetics and shit. Yeah, made him a kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but could she get rid of cybernetic? Like, that's my only... That was my pushback at that moment, right? 
and it's still kind of my pushback now. Can you take away, like, I feel as though her uh, ability works on, like, organic stuff, right? As far as we know, I don't know. I could be completely wrong. We don't yeah, really know. Knows, like, she can, yeah. make, she can make a car rusty, maybe. Yeah. She was awakening. You know what I'm saying? Like, that fruit almost has no bounds. Yeah. Because because from what we've seen, it seems like it just changes people's ages, right? Just from right. what we see, I'm not like I we again I don't know the yeah, full extent of her abilities. We like you know what I'm saying. It could be a god fruit too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. So my yeah, they were saying the same about uh what's the name Bo- uh, boa. That could be a god fruit because like it, it just don't make no sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean Prometheus are like they're just Prometheus is just all over the place, man. Like they're just I, I, that's why I think Prometheus are probably the the most versatile of the of right. the three categories because zones are pretty cut and dry. It's like you're an animal or you know, right. I mean even though even though like, you know, they're they do have some special abilities, especially you get into the mythical, you know, right. some of them could act Promethea ish or and like some Logias. Logias are probably the most basic, even though they're super right. hard to deal with, right? They're hard Thanks. to deal with if you don't have hockey. But Promethea are so like random, right? Like they're so random where it's like it's a power. You know, just like any power. Yeah. Yeah. So my thing with Boa. But that could be that could be the the whole like it it can get deeper than that to where like, you know, what if the government lied about like paramecia types are god fruits. You know what I'm saying? And like the Zoans and the and the and the what's the name? Uh, the Logias are, are are the actual devil fruits, but a paramecia like it's like a parasite, right? I mean, maybe that particular type. Uh, all of those are god fruits in in some way, shape, or form. I some mean, some sort of ancient god. I don't know because it's just we don't really know much of devil fruits, so it's just kind of hard to. Uh, right. You know, I mean, it's a good. It's, I never really heard it. Everything. I never really heard it like that, but that's that's interesting. That's interesting. I mean, I don't know what. <laughs> What would be the difference between the God fruit and the devil fruit? Because I think they both you still drown regardless. Right. <laughs> the the, the uh, sea still rejects you regardless. So I don't know. I don't know what the difference between does it reject Kaido? Because they say Kaido because Kaido has a fish fish fruit. So can he swim? Like they never even got into that. They said land, sea, or air. He's the strongest. Yeah. So he he fought in the water. I think like, somebody I, brought that up as well. Like they, somebody brought that up. I don't know. Cause again, it says it's always been stated. Devil fruits, like you're rejected by the sea regardless, you know? And so I don't know how it will work with Kaido. Like maybe he could breathe underwater, but still not re- like he'll still be rejected. I don't know. Just kind of like how Jack is, but Jack is a fisherman, right? Jack is an actual right. fisherman. So like half fisherman, I don't half know. human. But as far as but I kind of want I kind of want to go back to Bonnie because you uh you you yeah. brought because you brought up something we kind of already talked about and uh and shout out to Cube we got Cube in the uh, voice chat as well welcome Cube hey guys what's sorry up sorry for what's... being late I had some last minute issues too uh, that's cool but oh okay so as far as Jory being able to rewind Kuma right I don't know because can she. Can her rewind and take? Because again, we don't know the full extent of her ability. Could it take? Because as far as we know, what? Because I can only go by what we know about it, right? And what right. we've seen is that she could change her age. You know what I mean? Possibly change other people's ages. I don't remember if that happened. But she uh, does. She does. Okay, so she could change people's ages. So changing someone's age versus changing their full like anatomy like let's say shanks for example right shanks has a missing arm if she changed rewinded shanks ages back to when to his age before he lost his arm i don't think his arm regrows you know what i mean or zoro before like his age before he loses his eye i don't think it like regenerates limbs and 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 appendages you know what i'm saying so 
Yeah, I I don't know how that works, but it yeah, could. it could, it could. Yeah, like it could. But, but there's there's a question that we have to ask ourselves: Is I gotta go. what does Kuma? What happened to uh, Kuma hold on, Marie? hold on, hold on. Said, shout out to B Wizzle. He had to leave. I uh, just want to shout him out. Go ahead, cute. Go ahead, cute. So yeah, so the question is as well is that we don't know exactly what happened. Like, did Kuma's memory was wiped? Is it an emitter in his brain that blocks, you know, like his free will, or he he has like a, this emitter, like a bit Doc Ock in um, Spider-Man Two, with Tobey Maguire, mm -hmm. like he was still, he was being influenced, and so basically his his mind was taken over by the eight uh, metal limbs, and they were controlling him. Like we don't. That's the question. Is like once I think we know what is blocking Kuma's memory. If is it completely wiped, or is it just possessed by something else? then we can know a, a solution. Because I think that's the biggest issue. Because I yeah. could see Bonnie's Del Food working if it's in the fact where his memory was, uh, was like, his, his mind was corrupted. And maybe yeah. he could turn back to an age where his mind wasn't at that, you know, like say, I'll turn back, to, I'll turn you two years younger or four years younger. Yeah. And basically he will regain the same mind he had it. Or yeah. it could be like he has something that's blocking him, like an amateur. Like for Doc Ock, and basically, if there's a code where he turns awakening, his switch is to repulse everything, and basically he would repulse it and destroy the thing that's controlling his mind. Yeah. So it's you know it also it's for me I think that's a big question. What's wrong? What did they do to Kuma exactly? Because the flamingo was very uh, wasn't specific at all. He just said Kuma is in the is gone now, now for is gone now. Yeah. He became a, a pacifista zero. I mean. But yeah. So, if her ability works similar, like similar to, um, I remember there was a character I was thinking from Bleach. I couldn't, I couldn't remember the character on that stream we did, but not, but then I remembered after the fact it was Orohime. If y'all remember Orohime, right? Oh yeah, yeah. She's yeah. one of the main characters. So her ability works the word, like, because I think she was asked, like, because she heals people. And somebody said, "Oh, you heal people." And she was like, "No, uh, I rewind. I rewind. I, I think it was stated that she rewinds time. I guess the state of the uh, wound or whatever before it was wounded. I think that's how it was explained. It's kind of like it deals with time and not necessarily healing. Yeah, you know, if her ability works like that, I could see maybe it being like that for Kuma." But if it's just changing ages, I don't know if if her changing ages get rid if her changing Kuma's age get rid gets rid of the cybernetics, you know what I'm saying? And the cha the uh, uh, artificial changes in his body. I would also say that the thing that bothers me with the theory about Bonnie's devil fruit, it's a good idea. But there's one thing that bothers me is that the fruit that is the most similar to hers is the one that has the maturity fruit in Wano, who was able to yeah. turn Momonosuke to a 20 year old man. Shinobu. The question, the, yeah. And the problem with that devil fruit is that it only works on the physical aspect because maturity, maturity is all about it's not just being mature physically, it's also being mentally mature. Mm -hmm. And he was still a kid, he's still an eight year old kid. So, in that sense, Kuma's issues is not just physical. The big issue is the mental, his memory, his will, is in his being full right now. So that's why it bothers me because if her, the maturity food didn't work, didn't work on the on the mental aspect. I don't see how it would work on the you know for Kuma as well with Bonnie's food. because that's the only thing we know. Because now that we're just assuming stuff, making assumptions from what we've seen for now, with yeah. those few information. So for me, it's the closest thing. It's just like that, that, that fruit can only do a physical a physical change. I don't know if Bonnie's fruit is that OP, you know. But yet again, I said that every supernova devil fruit were chosen for specific reasons, and they're more interesting than we think. Yeah. Like, we know they're interesting, but I think there's a real twist that we'll find out why he chose the supernova to have those devil fruits. Because they're very specific to each of them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... All right, so I don't want I don't want to dwell on by, on that, but because we kind of talked about that before, so I don't want to dwell on that too much. Uh, back back to the uh, the chapter though. We I want to um 
I want I want to talk about kind of a small aspect that was kind of under the radar in this chapter is Caribou being on the ship. Yep. <laughs> like Caribou is on the ship. How did he get like it, it looked like did, did they like put it cuz look he do kind of look like he might be a prisoner, right? Well, that that's how they always transported him. Like after Fishman Island, they locked him in the yeah. barrel. Yeah. And uh and when he gave Luffy the food after he got knocked into the water off the roof, pretty sure they uh he exchanged the food for a ride off of Wano. Yeah. Also, you Oda just didn't show them locking them back up in the barrel. Okay. Oh, oh, then that wouldn't make sense. Cause now I think about, it, I thought he snuck onto the ship, but it looked like he's straight up a prisoner seeing he got chains on there. Right. So it seemed yeah. like they're, they know he's in there and he's not being, ex- he's not exactly being quiet in that cave. <laughs> I honestly believe like, you know, the, we're getting now snippets of what happened when, in the last chapter of what happened during the, that one week the, between the defeat of Kaido and uh, their, 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 uh, their party and leaving uh, Wano. And I so really I hope think, we see Zoro go to the grave. Me yeah. too. And so for me, I would love to see. Uh, I think, no, I thought I would love to see. I believe that at one point, uh, what's his name? Uh, Karibu. Had, had an interaction with the crew. And I think like Zoro or Sanji or Luffy, because they got so level up with their hockey, they must have sent something about him. And they agreed on it, but they locked him up. And, like, it'll be a gag scene. Like, yeah. we know, we, we, we feel your intention. But since we're men of our words, I, I, will, I would see that in a, it's a one, very one piece thing. To follow your thing, but we're not stupid now. Because now, there's something they feel with observation and hockey and Wano is that people like Kaido felt like presence very far away. Mihawk, like at the reverie, he felt the, the, the voting happening. Like his observation is at that level that miles away, he knew that they were talking about something that would influence him. I think he read so a I newspaper. Like, what? Then he read a newspaper? No, he was looking at the, at the, he was talking to Perona and looking inside. Or he was, I don't know if it was in his castle or if he was close to the reverie, but he was somewhere with Perona looking at, towards her and he said, you know, Perona, right now there's a reverie. Yeah, and right now they're having an interesting, an interesting, an interesting talk. I think no, he was they, reading the newspaper, heard, though. No, afterwards he learns, but then he, it was when, it was then the idea of what they should we do about the Shishibukai. The, we got the, the reveal in the newspaper, but that was before there was a reveal. When they announced the, the subject, they showed a scene where Mihawk said to Perona, they just announced an interesting topic. I'll find the panel or the section, because I started recently. On yeah, the but, video. And he, but oh, oh, just just whatever. I mean, I guess I don't know, but um, I think yeah. I just feel I think he was he knew that they was talking about the Shichibukai. He just kind of deduced maybe it was going to get to that point, but I don't know. But um, we got Angel. Guess who decided to show? What's up, Angel? But all right, so uh, so Caribou, right? Caribou. What, what what and it's it's odd that caribou caribou is in another chapter and, and this just kind of dawned on me caribou is in another chapter where we get the potential quote unquote and I say quote unquote cuz we don't know for sure what this thing is the potential reveal of uranus so we get another caribou another chapter with caribou and the ancient weapon in the same you know somewhat being revealed or whatever. So I, I kind of found that, uh, you know, that kind of being unique. But what is Caribou's, what is his purpose? You know, like, what what do you guys think is his purpose? Is? You know, because it's just, he's always around it to, to find some, he's always around to hear some, something important. You know, like, we get the, like, Luffy finally revealing his dream to the crew. <laughs> like, this whole time, he never, he never, told his crew where he told Ace, Shanks, and, and Sabo. And the same thing that think- Roger told his crew. So, what, what is Caribou there for? You know? Uh, hey. I think Caribou, for me, I think that's uh, not he's a red herring, but I think 
the fact that they showed him to be duplicit since the beginning, I think he's, he might be a future crew member. But he'll do action <laughs> and somehow he'll be... I think it's something because we've always seen people joining the crew or co- joining a faction and be, becoming duplicit. But Caribou is the first one we've seen that they've never hidden and he hasn't hidden that he's duplicit. He started the story like that and he's still with them. So I do feel like it's going to be a, some sort of reversal. Like the opposite he, of Conjuro. He, he was Conjuro trying to... Beloved, he, he was trying to join the Straw Hats. Yeah. Side, side by and Odin. he wasn't hiding that he wanted their <laughs> bounties. Like, Oda, Oda didn't hide that. It's the opposite of Kanjuro, if you think I about it. I don't know, it. though. Kanjuro was, was loved, and then he was hated because he was, a, he was really duplicit. I don't know, though. I think, now, I think Caribou well, might be working yeah. for Blackbeard, though. Yeah, I, I do think so. If I think that's part of the reason why he was trying to join the Straw Hats in the first place. I think Blackbeard... Uh, sent him to do that. Now nah, think about it, Angel. You got you got anything to add? Uh, uh, I don't know. It'll probably become important when everyone forgets him. When everybody forgets him, yeah. Because you know, always always forget him, and then he comes back. You know, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like herpes. You know. Just when you forget yeah, about him, he comes back. <laughs> yeah, but when he comes back, it's pretty important. Yeah, that's true. So that's true. And I wonder how he's gonna stay on the straw hat ship. Like yeah. they're like, are they gonna just drop him off on the next island, or are they gonna forget about him too and let him stay? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he might escape. I could see him like escaping out of that thing. Like, like maybe the cake Not falls so. and break. What about you, Joy Boy? So, so there is like connections with him and Blackbeard, like with their fruit, because I mean, with his swamp fruit, he can like store things in it. Mm. So, so it is it is similar in a way to Blackbeard, but also maybe the person he's wants to give the information to is uh, the guy that um, Killer was talking about, the guy with the. The, uh, the burn mark. Burn mark. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I think somebody said it, but I don't think they're the same. I don't. I don't know though. I don't know. I, I just don't think so. You know, because I guess I got my theories on who the guy with the burn mark is. I think. No, I'm not. I'm not part. saying he's Blackbeard. I'm saying that it, it, that could be the guy Gar- Caribou wants to tell about them getting the knowledge about the ancient weapons. Well, I think it's Blackbeard because. I just think Blackbeard is the only person in the story that can really use the w- ancient weapons effectively outside of Luffy, right? Like he, like I don't see, oh, for sure, for I sure. don't see anybody else successfully getting the ancient weapons other than maybe Blackbeard, you know, like um, because some people say, who, uh, some people say Crocodile because Crocodile was looking for Pluton. I don't see plot Crocodile successfully getting the ancient weapons though blackbeard on the other hand can actually utilize the ancient weapons and i don't think blackbeard is the the burnt scar guy but i think he's the guy that no i'm not uh, i'm not saying blackbeard's the guy with the burnt scar yeah what's his name cube you phasing out what you like you can't hear you I said, uh, I said, uh, wait. I said that this, uh, it could also, it could also show more that it could be Blackbeard, not the guy in the bird mark, but the one who sent Karu. Because if you think about it, Blackbeard could also given during the t- time skip that the the swamp uh, log gets to him. For those, because if you think about it, it is a perfect role for somebody like him. He can get to spaces. He can, uh, he can store stuff. He's able mm. to have his own weapons, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Because I like this theory where somebody said that when they're gonna arrive to the lo- to the last load star, like the last uh, road poneglyph, that uh, it was it, it was a funny take that Kirubu would be there before them and he would use his dog fruit to like store it, and they would not find it, but he would just keep it for a little while. Yeah. So he would go. He would be there before them. Yeah. So I do feel like he has a do- his dog fruit is very specific for that role. It's like and it's very rare to have somebody. And we're gonna send him to the white to the straw hat, and the only one who would do that would be Blackbeard because he has shown an interest for Luffy, and maybe something in Marineford convinced him of Luffy. 
because we know that he has like in the last uh, chapter we've seen his knowledge of the lunarians by recognizing by their features so we know that his knowledge is vast yeah and lunarians like one of the is like a huge secret like what one billion for uh, for just giving information about them mm -hmm. like it's it's crazy so yeah all right so uh Are, so uh I want I want to ask you Cube and Angel about I'll let I'll let you talk Cube first because I know Angel gonna have to probably think about it for a little bit. <laughs> but uh, all right, so I think it was a little hinted, right? It was hinted that um, like me and Joy Boy already talked about this, so that's why I'm not going to ask Joy Boy. It 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 felt like it was hinted that Luffy wanted to go to wherever. VV was right like when they was talking about VV and Sabo in the beginning and yeah. I, it just gave me vibes that Luffy and the Straw Hat or the Straw Hats might end up going to where VV is like that could be a future story plot you know I was kind of thinking yeah. it could be like like cause, cause, he was, cause he was like hey let's go to Alabasta or let's go to Mary Jo so I'm, I, you know if it was for Zoro kind of shooting that whole thing down, I was honestly starting to think that they were going to change courses and go to wherever Vivi was. But at this point, it don't seem like that. So I'm thinking, where do you, what do you got? Y'all, do you think that, you know, that's going to play a big part in the future? Cause me and joy boy talked about it. And I personally think that, um, I think that she might be with, Mary Jo and, and Mary Jo are now Joy Boy also has a theory pertaining to Vivi and Uranus possibly that we're going to talk about later but I think that E might be holding Vivi captive and that might have to lead to the Straw Hats going to save Vivi well I have already because I was convinced by a take on Reddit that I like a lot that answers the Vivi issue so Somebody said if you go back to what Akainu and the investigator said, that Vivi has, is missing. Princess Vivi hasn't been seen ever since the incident. And so the idea is that it could happen that, and we know that Kuma was there because so the dragon asked him what happened between all that because he witnessed it. And I think that Bonnie was there as well. And we know that Bonnie and Kuma have a past together. And I think uh, Bonnie used her devil fruit to change Vivi's age. So they'd never recognize Vivi because they use the word, she hasn't been seen since the incident. Mm, I mean, she disappeared. That's, that's and, a good uh, thought. So, so for me, I, and I, the, the fact that now Bonnie is, and I've always, and I've started to believe ever since Wano, whenever we meet another supernova, the plot diverts, diverts to a good way. It always goes to the path, but we're not, we're not expecting it. Wokek Island, everything changed when Capone explained his plan, uh, Punk Hazard with Law, uh, Wano and the prison with Kid, how uh, things shifted, you know, like, uh, like there's always an influence of the supernovas and the fact that Bonnie is here. So yeah, so for me, I would see the crew going to Vivi, but I think that the only way it would work is that Vivi would somehow reach out to them, like yeah. a Star Wars type of thing, like Princess Leia sending a message to Obi-Wan kind of thing because I do think like Vivi, they, they, Vivi said I will come back I will reach to you guys when I am ready when she when they left yeah. so I do think that they're going to wait because at least Zoro will put his foot down ever I, until all right, he Cube. doesn't hear from Vivi <laughs> alright Cube let, yeah. let, let, let's let Angel go <laughs> your Angel. question made me remember this uh, I think I had it with Joy Boy I don't I, well I'm going to just say I think I had it with him about how I, I think I said that I think that Emu might have, uh, might, might, this was before this chapter. I think it was like a long time. I don't know. It was just a long time ago, a few months ago. Um, what's her name? BB and just wants to kidnap her or something and have a conversation or something. That who? So, Emu. Okay. Yeah. Maybe she wants to have a conversation with BB. Or maybe she wants to do something with Vivi, but I was like, but and and maybe it's not just killing her, but who knows? But right now, I don't, I don't know. It could go anyway. Yeah, I, 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 don't I, have... 
I, I mean, Cube, I think you have a very interesting take about Vivi being turned to a kid. I personally think Eam is just hiding Vivi and doesn't want her Ooh. whereabouts to, to get out. So she's just being considered missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think it's just that simple. But but I do think I do think you're uh you made a an interesting point though. I will say that about uh Jory Bonnie possibly turning her to a kid so she can hide a lot easier because nobody's gonna expect Vivi to be a kid, right? So I I, I think that's a, 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 a interesting possibility and interesting take. So I I do give you that. I do give you that. But um yeah, so I I just in 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 the fact that Jory Bonnie was introduced in this arc that could like if that if if Cube's theory is right, I think her being introduced in this this chapter as well, you know, could also play into that. You know, and the reason and I always thought that Vivi was with Sabo, but when we see Sabo, we got no mention of Vivi nor did we see Vivi. So could she still be with Sabo? Possibly, you know, but I don't think she's with Sabo. And also, we got I I, I felt a Kuma vibe teleportation because the way Bonnie appeared was very weird. Like, yeah, that's like the, a uh, whirlwind of water. That's so the same like thing like Wizard said. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So maybe he just sent them all in different places. Yeah, and that might be the case. You know, that could be the case as well, but. Yeah, I'm I'm just interested on Vivi's whereabouts, you know, cuz and and do is is she going to be a I just think I just feel as though her being under Eam would lead to if if Eam has or Vivi that could be the catalyst that starts this great war that Oda has been talking about. And that's kind of why I'm on a I'm more on the uh, fence on Eam having Vivi because that would lead to this war. If the Straw Hats got to go save Vivi, then it's like, hey, you know, and then Joy Boy also says something interesting. Hey, repeat what you said, Joy Boy. You know, you ain't got to go into death, but repeat what oh, you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so what, how it started was, um, so what, what would have led Saba to the throne room? And uh, I think I, I don't think Emu personally captured Vivi. I think someone else then brought uh, uh, Vivi to Emu, and that that and Sabo followed them and saw Emu on the throne room. But I think that Vivi is the catalyst for Emu being able to use uh, Uranus. Bam! Y'all hear? Y'all heard it here? But we're gonna talk about Uranus later. So. Because again, we don't even know if that is Uranus, but exactly. That's, I, that's I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm about ninety percent sure that's that's Uranus. Ninety, you know, ninety. But we'll talk about that when we get to that part of the chapter. So, uh, all right. So we also had Luffy finally tell his crew about the his dream. You know. Uh, it, I don't really have much to speak on that. And to me, it was just, it stuck out because I I didn't realize that he never told them, right? Like this whole time they've been on this ship with him and he's never told him this, this mystery dream that he never told, that he told Ace and Sabo and Shanks. So I thought that was interesting. I might have um, a take about what could his dream be or something that's linked to his dream. Uh, I think it has something to do with the moon. Because there's something that bothered me is that whenever there's a, you know, the way he sleeps, you know, he always looks at the sky. But the way he he said the end of his dream, he looked at the sky. And I always remember something. And and NL never talked about the moon. He called it the, the varf or something. Verse. The big varf. He never called it uh, the moon. And why I'm thinking about that, because I don't think it's just going to the moon. I think it is a dream that connects to the moon. Because it's simple enough for seven-year-olds to say, and it's crazy enough for in that world to not believe that the, the future Pirate King, Roger, from Whitebeard, that he's able to do it. 
Yeah. And so yeah, so I know I'm not saying that his his goal is just to go to the moon, but I think he said he wants to like to see the entire to to see the entire world and then have a big party on the moon or something like that. It could be as as simple as that. I think but I his, feel like and I think his dream and, is to uh, become Hokage after becoming Pirate King. <laughs> <laughs> and the the one also that really convinced me is Sanji. It's like the way uh, Sanji is always the most rational one and always the one that you know like compliments people. And the way he said, I, I think somebody has to check if he he got hit by on the head. And it was for me like Sanji has always been the most rational one yeah. in uh, most times as the crazy one. And yeah. the fact that even he is literally saying that he's crazy, uh, I would sense that the dream the dream is really out of this world. Yeah. And it's like so, something that we're, we cannot, and, and he wants to go to all blue, something that doesn't exist. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah. I think his Sorry. dream is to become a uh, Hokage, and then, or after become Power King, he want to become Hokage, and then uh, be the uh, Wizard King at, after that. So, I, I think. And that then might uh, be he has to find the, se- the seven Millennium items for the Shadow Realm. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, moving on, moving on. We got the phone call. We got Sabo calling the revs. We 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 leave off the where we left off what two chapters ago to the Flame Emperor chapter, and like I said, because I think it was Angel. Angel was like, you know, hey, Sabo could have killed him, and I'm like, eh, it's not Sabo right there. That's not Sabo. Angel. I mean, that's not Sabo. You not see him in Drusso, sir. To kill this man was a crazy. King, to just kill kings, just cause, just to kill some I'm random not gonna say, king. I, I, I didn't say he would do it for no reason. I just said it's a possibility. Yeah, this I, man is very, I, he's he very did. weird. I think you wanted it to be a possibility. I think that's what it was. Yeah, it would have been pretty surprising if he did. So yeah, so Sabo pretty much tells Dragon like, look. You know, I ain't the one who killed Cobra. You know, I don't think anybody believed it except Angel. Angel was probably the only person uh, on Earth that believed that Sabo killed Cobra or could have killed Cobra. I didn't say I believed it. I said it was said, a possibility still. You said, I said, you know, you was the one who, you was the only one who believed he could have killed Cobra. Like he could have potentially killed him. So we we learned that Sabo was, is on this island called Lulu Lulugia, right? Lulugia, which seems huh? Never heard of that island. Yeah, I don't think none of us heard of that island, but that's that's kind yeah, of because yeah. it doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. What the heck are you guys talking about? Before <laughs> it didn't exist, it existed. <laughs> Cause Sabo is on the island, right? It, yeah, the right piece to the Flame Emperor. So, so I, I, I'm not sure if that was the same island where we seen the uh, one guy talking about, yeah, Sabo Flame Emperor. If that was like that same island when he was on the uh, the the TV thing, mm. right? So we go to that in. While Sabo is talking to the revs, we we see the people. We see the people talking about, hey, what's that in the sky? It's like some shadowy thing. And then we see this light come down from the clouds, almost in an Anel-type fashion. Right? Remember when Anel destroyed that little town or city or whatever? Yeah. The sky it's the same parallel. It was parallel to that scene. Yeah. On a bigger scale. On a bigger scale. Much bigger scale. So, the first question I want to ask you guys, you know, and we also see Eam, right? We also got a lot of uh, Eam uh, presence in this chapter, during, during this chapter, when they crossed out uh, Luluji and said it didn't exist anymore. First question I want to say, is, is Sabo dead? Y'all, y'all think Sabo dead? Because, like... Nope. There's it, one yeah. trip on in, the, in the chapter. It looked like he's not even... Could he be on like the ship outside of the country, possibly? So, first of all, for me, I believe that the way how fast the attack was done, and how they said it was fate, he's really an unlucky man. Is that all eight nations that rebelled were were planned to be erased? 
So that's why it was so fast. And for me, why is that they said the island and they said the island is now forgotten in history. So we can make assume that anything about that island would be forgotten. And the only thing they showed after the island was destroyed was just the Den Den Mushi saying, Sabo, 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 showing that Sabo was remembered even after the, the island was erased or was forgotten in history. So I do feel like that's a hint that if, if Sabo was not on the island, or at least he was able to avoid the destruction of that island. Because it's a bit like Trigger Devil Fruit. Trigger Devil Fruit does that. Anybody influenced by the Devil Fruit forgets, all the other person will forget about that person. So yeah. I do feel like it's maybe something similar. Right. So he avoided it. Sorry, right, go ahead, I'm go done. ahead Angel. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I have nothing to say. It's, I mean, it's all speculation. There's, I don't know. Joy boy. Yeah, I, like, I don't, I don't think Sabo would be dead, but I don't know how he would survive that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 as, and this is what makes this moment so great. It's like I can't imagine Sabo dying in just such a. In, in this sort of, even though it would be, would be kind of impactful, right? Like, you know, if he did, if he is dead and, you know, and this was just to kind of showcase the power of the world government at this point. But, man, I can't picture Sabo just being dead like this. You know, I would picture him dying in maybe a fight, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like Ace, maybe. But, damn, can I, can bro. Can I admit something? Can I huh? admit something? Like, I, I, got, I got a sort of jump scare scene when I... Because I read all the, 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 the spoilers, so I knew that all the characters that would be on the chapters, I was pretty hyped. But that scene where Sa- Sabo was about to say that he saw someone in the throne room, and in the manga, they showed Im on the, on the, on the, on the, on the block, just Rex the next, the, in the chapter. You see Im, then you see Sabo talking about Im. And when I looked at the, sec- at the next page and I found on this, I thought that Im appeared right behind Sabo and he was going to kill him. So I jumped, I said, no! And then I realized that he wasn't there. So I, I really want to give props to Oda for that. Because I really, like, legit got scared for Sabo for, like, that he was really going to be destroyed in front of Eve. But, yeah. It was a funny experience. Yeah. All right. So uh, on the subject of this 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 moment, we got this mystery weapon. Does this yeah. mean, does this mean that the world government has Uranus? I don't think so. Because I mean, you, do you think this? You don't think this weapon's Uranus? So I'll, I'll be quick because you know I, I talk a lot or else. But I'll be quick. You do honestly. <laughs> when I saw the weapon, I first thought it was Uranus. So I have, I have like you ninety percent sure it's Uranus, but ten percent that is quite strong on me. I do feel like it's a it's misleading from Oda. And isn't the fact that we know that you we know that anything about Im is forgotten in history, or nobody knows about it. Like very, like only the Gorse knows seems to know about him. Do you so think this I would is not, Im? Im's ability? So, no, maybe? no. I, I I think it is a weapon, or it might be an, uh, an ability. But I think whatever that is, we don't know about because I would not see in the world where we know about the three ancient weapons that Im is on the possession of one of them. So I think that would have been at least erased, and we have only known two ancient weapons. So I do feel like it is a weapon, but it's something we don't know about. Like maybe there's an extra ancient weapon, and the three ancient weapons are the ones that Eam was never able to take control of. All right. So, so I would see that it's misleading to, to think it's Uranus. Okay. It's, it was, uh, it was uh, a weird attack. Uh, right? Q. Q. I'll keep it short. No, uh, keep it short. Keep it short, Q. We got you. We got you. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey. I just want the last thing to... <laughs> Every time you got a last thing, you got another last thing. <laughs> no, it's just it's a question, and then you can answer it afterwards. It's just was it lightning or a light attack? I never, I didn't understand what kind of attack it was. I don't know. It looked maybe Definitely light, no more way. lightish. It looked like light, but what about uh, um, Angel? Uh, I. I think in, uh, I don't know. It has to be a some type of ancient weapon because if you had this, why have Buster calls in general? If you could just do that, right? But but <clears throat> maybe they just got it. Who knows? But that might also play into what Joy Boy has to say. Yeah, yeah. 
and Go like. Ahead. Go ahead, Jordan. Uh, I did send something else uh, into the chat. It was the first thing I sent. I know you were talking about it when you were talking about the chapter. Um, you got the the cover page of chapter four seventy two. It's one of the ML ones, and like it's the mosaic on the wall, and then um. Like, there's, if you look at when the attack happens, there's 16 rays of light that come down. Yeah. And then, that's, like, that's and, the, and, uh, that's the, and uh, what I sent, yeah. That's the, uh, I, I know I want, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's kind of the hieroglyphs that I was talking about. Remember in the, yeah, in the yeah, middle yeah, of the yeah, uh, yeah. stream? Like, the one, cause, cause one of them could have been looked at as Plut 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 Pluton, like on 472. The cover story, right? One of them could have been looked at as Pluton because cause on the right, the bottom right, we also see like a bunch of what looks to be sea kings. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That could be associated with Poseidon. The one on the the bottom left, I would think would be uh, possibly Pluton, right? Like a ship, you know? Mm -hmm. And then the one on the top right where the, the uh, moon knights are standing on, kind of look like it's in the air right because it's above everybody else that's what i i kind of presume to be your uranus plus it's in the sky and you know uranus is the the uh looked at as the embodiment of the heavens and all that but go ahead my i just wanted to add that yeah but like it, it, it's all in what i sent in the chat what you're talking about um but like uh like you can only see see half of what we think is uranus in that uh hieroglyph and what someone did was they flipped it and it comes out to 16 different points. And then there's 16 uh, rays of light that's hitting the island, uh, Lelouchia. Hmm. Okay. It's interesting. I didn't, I didn't count yep. the rays of light. One, two, three. 16. Four. Yeah. It's a 16. Yeah. Uh, great take, uh, Joy Boy. It and, and it is it is interesting that like right before the attack happens, like when uh, the people are looking up, it looks like a, a bright sun in the sky before the attack happens. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. And 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 that's why I, I think it, I believe it's Uranus. You know, so that would mean that. Eam has possession of Uranus. Yeah. But you said, but, like, but what was your association with Vivi, though? So with Vivi, what I was thinking, like, why would the, what would be a major reason for the Nefertari family not to join the other nobles? Because what if, what if their bloodline is what activates Uranus and they knew that the world government had Uranus? And that, uh, like, they could have been keeping Uranus at uh, God's Valley, mm -hmm. and uh, like, uh, m what, probably two, three generations before Vivi, there could have been someone that was able to unlock it. Maybe, maybe. Now that we now now I think about it, right? We talk about how Pluton is a a ship or like a device, like a ship that could destroy islands. And then Poseidon yeah. is, is a sentient being that can control sea kings, right? Uranus could be kind of a combination of both of, of what Poseidon oh. and Pluton is, right? Where it's a, a sentient being that controls a piece of technology. And, and and so VV being the technology possibly, which which also plays into the idea that VV maybe Eam does have VV, right? Yeah, and that that would also explain why it was only a, be able to be used now if VV does it, it does unlock it and Eamu does have VV. But but if but but again but then again too. Cause you said why wouldn't they use uh like a bus this instead of a Buster call? Maybe Buster calls just like maybe Eam has full control. 
and it's kind of just a, a just an argument against you know VV being the one. Maybe maybe Buster calls her more for the Marines, right? And Eam directly controls Uranus. You know, maybe he has the the control device and only uses it when like because again. It was used right before Sabo was about to pretty much spill the beans on Eam. <laughs> he was like, oh, you want to snitch? That country exists no more. <laughs> right, but to, but to counter that also, from how the Gorsei were talking, it, it was almost like uh, the attack on those uh, islands, or on that island, was already in motion before they knew Sabo was there. Yeah, because yeah. I thought, because uh, what was it? The Gorbachev one is like, oh, it's fate or destiny. He's an un- unlucky man. You know, he's truly an unlucky man. Like he, they pitied him. It was already said to be destroyed. Yeah. Mm, good point. Good point. But, but I might have an explanation why they have Buster calls if they have Uranus, and I think that um, either it takes a long time to charge. I think it's not something you can use because they always show that there's consequences. With great power comes, you know, huge consequences on the body or something. So I do feel like Uranus is like, either you cannot hit too much on the earth with Uranus, maybe uh, it might destabilize it, or, you know, maybe the, the energy that it needs, it takes time to charge. But and they, they don't use only Buster do Calls that, that often, often, no? Yeah, it's but not... I'm saying that's why they have maybe the use of Buster Calls, to not overuse Uranus. And Uranus, they really use it to erase something from history. And Buster Call is just to destroy because I do think that it is true. If they have Uranus, why have Buster Calls? But maybe because Uranus, you cannot use it as you will. There's maybe limits, you know, like uh, the Dragon Balls. You, once you use the three witches, the three wishes, it takes, uh, you have to wait one year before reusing them. It takes one year to find them again and then, you know. Yeah, but I'm so saying I do like, think, like. There's a limit. There's a well, limit. All I'm saying is the, the, uh, the amount of times they use, they've used Buster Calls. They use that for like far in between. So, like, like the last one we know of is in this lobby, and that was what, like, two years ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then the one before that, even though they could have used plenty in between that and O'Hara, but you know, O'Hara, you know, maybe it's just they don't. It's a secret weapon. You know, it's something you don't want to showcase unless you really need to showcase it. You know, I, but I don't know. It's, it's it's hard to say, you know, so that that's maybe they just found Uranus, you know, like maybe they were close to finding it and they just found it or something. I, I don't know. It's tough. I don't, I think they've had it for a while because I also think this is uh, the national treasure Dofi was talking about. I don't think it would be, True. You. I think it'd be the weapon. Good point. Good point. I th- for me, the national treasure treasure has always been the uh, they're in possession of the Eve tree, because literally uh, the Adam tree is called Treasure Tree Adam. I always thought that the, that it was a pun to talk about Eve, Eve, but it could also be a good idea that maybe they have Uranus and that's the national treasure. So I do also like that. But I always had the assumption that it was uh, Eve, you know. Man, so uh, okay. Cause, cause I, I also had another, uh, another thing I wanted to bring up, right? Cause we talked about the great, the great cleansing, right? And we talked about maybe possible flooding, but I always looked at flooding, even though you know we that's why that might be why we got to Noah, right? But I always kind of look at flooding to be dangerous for everybody, including the world government, even though. I guess it wouldn't affect the uh, Celestials that much because they're on top of the the grand line or the uh, red line. Could this possibly be what they mean by uh, cleansing, destroying islands? I think so. Because I was thinking, I'm like, you if you could destroy islands, I mean, you could kill a lot of, you could take away a lot of life, especially if, you know... It doesn't take that long to charge. You could just use this at will. You could take you could that, kill that, a lot of people. That's why. That's why if they had Uranus for a while, like I said, they must somehow some sort of balance with that energy, like something. Because, like you said, or else they could have handled that like fifty years ago. Because uh, 
I like this idea of cleansing because I had the discussion of Angel where I believe that because we they've said that Roger launched the pirate the Great Pirate Age, considering that his era launched Xebex, uh, most of the Rock Pirates, Rayleigh, Whitebeard, you know. So I do feel like the fact that we're not talking about it, that maybe they lived through some sort of, they survived some sort of, like the Yonkos, most of the Yonkos, they became emperors because they were part of that crazy generation of the rocks. And they were the emperors of the seas. So they oh, were able to I'm, get territories through that. I'm, I'm so, glad you said that, Q, because you, you, so, you reminded me of a topic that I wanted to, go ahead, finish your thing. Yeah. And so my idea is that I think before that, before they were pirates, they were like bandits who lived on their islands there was some sort of cleansing, and that's what drove them to seek out for... So maybe Brooke was like a legit pirate, like an adventurer, and then all of those, you know, other people who became eventually bandits became pirates. So I do believe that 50 years ago, because 50 years ago is the generation that Suru, Sengoku, and Garb joined. All those, new, uh, those, worse, those old generation, the older generation, joined to become pirates. I do think that there was a reason for it. But yet, they only called it the Great Pirate Age, after after Roger was executed and he left his speech, yeah. so I do feel like there was a cleansing before, and now they might do another cleansing. Okay, uh, so yeah. so um, what Andrew? Oh, sorry. So I was uh, gonna say. Oh, go ahead. Okay, so about this great cleansing, I was I, I was gonna say, uh, this made me. What if what if they're um, what if they're trying to do another what's it called, void. Like where uh, 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 years where there's no written void history, century. void century. Yeah, I'm not gonna say a century because it might not even last a century. But what if I, I'm I'm saying this because of uh, <sighs> the Morgan where they try to cover up, where they try to cover up something, but then you know this chapter we found out that that thing was already covered up. So what if they're just trying to get rid of all source of media so they can do what they need to do you know get rid of these pirates maybe Hello? i mean that's kind of where it seems like it's going they're trying to get maybe not another voice century but they're trying to do some type of yeah, cleansing. That's... but this this makes me think right like like this chapter really kind of opened my eyes on something that that a mystery that we really like especially Cube, you kind of reminded me about a mystery that we that we haven't even really discussed. So we got this uh, we got this country, Lu, Louisiana or not? I, I was Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana, <laughs> Lu, Lulusia, Lulusia, right? We got this country, Lulusia, right? It it existed. Now it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist no more. Like, what am I yeah. talking about? Lulusia doesn't exist anymore. Well, I'm, you know, I'm just bringing up countries that don't exist. Nah, but for real, what is another island or country that existed? We, know. we already talked about it. Spoilers. But that we didn't. You, know, you could just say the name. You just could but say the that, name. We already talked about it. Let, let me ago. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> what is another country that existed that didn't that doesn't exist no more? What what was we talking about then, Q? Cod Valley. So now we probably we possibly learned what happened with God Valley. But that makes you think, yeah. right? What was so cause for me, especially with this chapter, they you know, lose you, it seems like they got rid of it because it was like a rebel country, right? Like it was a country that rebelled against the world government. So it was like it's one of those, it was like, what, eight countries that re revolted, right? So it seemed like these eight countries yeah. might all be on the hit list. Yeah. What happened at God Valley to where they, they had to be on the hit list? We know that Roger and Sing or uh, Gart were protecting celestial dragons and their slaves, which is odd. <laughs> I mean, not protecting the slaves, but protecting the celestial, the celestial slave masters Dragon. from yeah. Zebek. Like, what does Zebek want there? You know, what was so important to Zebek that he that he wanted there that forced Roger and Gart to 
pretty much go against their own moral morality to protect them, to protect the uh, Celestials and fight Zebek. And then for the world government to possibly sink or, or destroy this country, you know? Man, that, that, that just makes me want to know more about God Valley now. Like, you know, it had to be something there, you know, some secret or something. You know, I don't I don't know. I, I'm going to add to your question because I don't have the answer. And I'd like to have the, the your, your guys' thought on it is also what was so important that just because, because, you know, there's other countries that's rebelled in the past because of Dragon. And we've never heard of those kind of instances, unless everybody forgot about them. But what was, uh, first, how can Sengoku ha- remember about God Valley if it was used that way? And secondly, why would lose, why would such a discreet manner just for, I do feel like the lands are important. And that if they can't have it, nobody can have it. So yeah. the question is, did God Valley have something specific, maybe like that kingdom? Like there was a important information, so important that, if the rebels fall fall into that information, it could be the downfall to Emus, like maybe reveals of the past or something. So that's the question I will I, I will add to your question. What do you guys think about I, I, the importance I, I, of those that's islands? That's the mystery I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the same mystery yeah, I'm tough. trying to figure out. Cause um, and and and, and it kind of makes me think, kind of um, discussing when we talk about Buster calls, right? Like why. Why would they use this instead of Buster Calls? I think I have an answer for that. Why not use a Buster Call instead? Buster Calls, it requires a lot of ships, right? It, it requires a bunch of vice admirals to pretty much man a bunch of ships and do a bombard a country. But as we know now, the Navy is spread very thin, so I don't think a Buster Call would be possible. You know what I mean? So, they break out Uranus, I guess. You know? So, um, same result, also, but... Uh, also, also, it could also be the fact that maybe now, it, the, through the pirate age, all of the people who are hurting the government are dispersed around the world. So, like, you could, I don't... Unless if Uranus could be in different places at the same time, I think it's just... It's easier to have buster calls, you know? Like having ships to keep on shooting, maybe like uh, I don't, unless if you have everybody in one kingdom, then you can erase them in one go. That's what happened in Void Century. That's I don't I, think that, a buster think. call would be more liable in this situation, just because the navy yeah. spread too thin. You know, yeah. Like it requires a lot of resource. It, it requires a lot of naval resources versus you just have one ancient weapon that could do the same same job, right? So, you know, that was just kind of my own pushback on uh, Buster Calls versus Uranus. But yeah, I mean, I think Uranus was responsible for God Valley, though. I definitely believe that. Because I don't think, I don't even think Buster Calls could destroy the whole land of a of a, of a, a, a country or an island. It just kind of destroys all the buildings and all the life there. Like, I think you would go back to Ennis Lobby and this, the, the land would still be there for the most part. I mean, I don't know about O'Hara. I think he would be able to go O'Hara. It'd just be a empty, flat land or whatever. Maybe, maybe trees and stuff regrew, but but why did they use it at O'Hara? If you think about it, it would have been the perfect place to forget people from there. O'Hara was like everybody knows that they they did research on Podiglyph now. Yeah, it could have been a better case to use. That's the question: is why did they use Uridus instead of? Uh, you're this and uh, that buster calls for O'Hara. That's yeah, also the question know. I wonder to ask. It's very weird. Yeah, good question. Y'all got any thoughts, um, Angel or Joy Boy? You know, this. I, I, oh, sorry, Joy Boy kick off. <laughs> well, I was, I was going to say, like, a lot of the questions being asked could be answered with maybe VV being the what is necessary to be able to use it. Like, why they, why, why they didn't use it at O'Hara? Why are they just not, now using it now? Like, what, what was the point of Buster Calls? Well, like, what if the Buster Calls were them trying to imitate the power of Uranus? But 
obviously with the scale of what Uranus could do, the you could you couldn't get anywhere close to that with just ships. Yeah. Um, also, what I what I'm thinking is maybe Uranus was at God's Valley, and Zebek was going there to try to take it. Yeah. It, yeah. A name. That's that's a good point. Maybe you know maybe they, the world government didn't have it at the time. But you know, I also I also would say this too as well. I think I think Buster calls are more under the authority of the Marines, right? So where Uranus might be more under the authority of Eam himself. You know, like 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 look at the military, right? Um you got you got different branches of Marine or the military. Now Congress Congress, they approve of the Army, the Navy, Air Force, all that stuff. But the Marines are activated by the president himself. So, like, Congress can't say, hey, I want to send the Marines. No, the president says, I'm sending the Marines. You know, but Congress could say, I'm sending the Army. They could say, I'm sending the Air Force. I'm sending the Navy. And, I, and I'll just say that to say this. Like, the Marines, one piece-wise, the Navy, they, um, they can dictate if they want to do a buster call or not you know under extreme cir- circumstances of course but they can dictate that when they need to do it but if Eames I feel as though if Eames see fits to get rid of a country he will use uh Uranus in- instead of leaving it to the Navy you know that's that's my that's my you know and plus I think Uranus has more of a guaranteed <laughs> effect than Plu- uh, then uh, not Pluton, the Buster calls. Well, if that's the case, then like O'Hara would be like prime usage for Uranus instead of just a Buster call, because like knowledge about the Void Switcher was gonna be coming out, and that's like the last thing he wants. That's true, but, but I think I, I I think Eam still has influence over the Marines, anyways, because I mean he. Through the Gorse, because the Marines still have to answer to the Gorse. That's true, but as we've seen, O'Hara was still kind of like everything that was happening was still being like everything that happened in O'Hara was still pretty much under the Marines. Like the Marines were taking care of all that. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't see many world, we didn't see CP0 there or anything. We didn't see. You know, we've seen, what, like CP9, which is still kind of under jurisdiction of the Marines. We've seen a bunch of, well, when they called the Buster call, we seen the Marines show up. So, I mean, CP9, you know, like, like they're under the Marines to a degree. Where CP, or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, right? I got to make sure I'm right about that. Like, the Marines kind of. they're under the government. Yeah. yeah, government. All the CP answers to the world government. But CP0 answers directly to the Gorosei. Yeah. And, and Eam. Yeah. So I feel as though if, if, if let's say CP0 was there, maybe your Uranus would have been used. But it just seems kind of like... like. Well, I, I think it's... I just don't think Eam, Eam was didn't... handling that himself. I don't think it was something that Eam was directing himself. Versus this, I think, might have been directed more coming straight from Eam, is what I'm well, saying. Well, I just don't think they, they had access to Uranus at that point. And that's why they had to rely on the Buster call. I mean, that, that could because be it, case, it, it, Because I, I feel like Eam, if they had access to Uranus, they just use it on O'Hara. But, it wouldn't but, make any sense just to send the Marines if he but, can wipe out an entire island that has, but, that has potential knowledge about the Void Century. But the thing that bothers me is one point that we you know we've all agreed that most likely what happened to to God Valley was Uranus in, in a degree with what we've seen what happened into that kingdom Lulusia. Well, God uh, O'Hara was uh, God Valley was 38 years ago. So if they were in possession of it, I don't understand why 22 years ago they were not able to use it at O'Hara. So that's why I'm start 10% of me is really convinced that. What we saw is misleading to think that it's Uranus, but I think it's something else. Because there's also, too many weird, you, weird I, stuff. Like you, you were talking about restrictions. Like, if if it does take someone to access it, what if it like 
eats away at their life force, and that was the last shot. So they had to I wait did. for the next one to be able to come I, around. I like that because it kind of fits with your, uh, your uh, what's it called? Your uh, VV or VV. Nefertari uh, VV connection because there's something we realized yeah. in the two years, the health of Cobra greatly reduced. And I think like maybe they, they, there was something like they needed him for something and they were maybe charging up Uranus because now they used it. And so maybe that's why his health was so low and maybe that's why they, he's, he maybe refused. Like, because we've seen that Cobra, something is, was eating him up when he went there. Like he wanted to speak to the Gorsai about something. And I think there was something that he was doing that he did not agree upon, even though he was a king. Yeah. So it could fit with your, with your idea of Vivi because it's true, his health yeah. went, lost a lot in two years. Well, we yeah, already so, know uh, that Atari have connections with uh, ancient weapons. So with yeah, them yeah. having the knowledge about Pluton. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just want to give a little pushback though, Joy Boy. Real, um, when we seen when we were in O'Hara, like they never went directly to destroying O'Hara, as I recall. Like CP9 had a presence in O'Hara. I forgot why they why they were there, and they was always pretty much <laughs> telling um. Like they didn't just go like 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 Lulu Lulugia. There it, there was like no escalation. It was just like we annihilating them, right? There was like no escalation. Well, O'Hara, there was a bit of escalation, and ultimately, the choice of destroying the island was on Spandam's dad. I I forget his name. Um, uh, I can't remember his name. But yeah, it was ultimately up to him to press the little gold, Din Din Mushi or whatever. And then he called he called a uh, Buster call, but it's not like it went like it was like it was no escalation to it, you know. I I feel as though he was there for something, like he was demanding something, but I don't really remember. Well, they they knew that um they had knowledge about the Void Century because that's how that's why they had Olivia, and she escaped, yep. went back to the island, and then it wasn't until um. Was it Clovis? Was that his name? Clover. The, the three-haired Clover. Clover guy? Uh, Clover. He was about to say the, the name of the ancient kingdom. And then that's when he shot, and then that's when they called for the Buster call. Yeah. But, yeah, I I'm thought, just... I thought... Go ahead, Andrew. I was going to say, I thought the... When it comes to O'Hara, I thought the, the, the Buster call was going to happen regardless. I thought they were just there to see how much they knew before yes. they killed them. Yes. I mean, that might have been the case, but I'm just saying, like, it didn't go, like, straight to, it didn't go straight to, like, hey, let's not even go there to, uh, because we're going to send you in this. Somebody, somebody got, <laughs> you know, like, Lulugia, there was no world government presence there. They just went, they just sent Uranus, you know what I'm saying? I feel as though, like, they didn't do that well hired. They just, they had, C, they had the CP9 agents there doing investigations or whatever. And then it was like, okay, well, let's let's mess this place up, you know. Call. Buster I think it's call. because I think it's because there were Marines that was there. Because if you think about it, Aokiji was uh, Aokainu uh, killed all the civilians. Aokiji was shot, and the rest of the Marines. But like uh, Angel said, the bus across were still called. So I do think that there were two missions. The Marines thought they were just there to do some reconnaissance, and maybe the Gorus saved through Cypher Pole. Told, told and told Akainu because maybe he was already groomed at that time or they knew that he would be the man for it. He was the point man in the Marines to make sure that no civilians survived because Akainu chose, and we know that Akainu is absolute justice. And we do see Akainu as the perfect villain, but I do think like he does have morals in a way. Like he does have, if we tell him to do something, he'll do it to the fullest, but he will not over go overboard for, because he did talk to a, a Tobia before executing him. And we know that he let Akuji leave, so he's not like immoral. He doesn't have a heart. He has a heart, but it's just, you know, filled with absolute justice. So I do feel like there were two missions. Yeah. And that's no, I'm just the Marine, saying, Marines I, were there. I'm just saying, I think, uh, like, all I'm saying is, like, and, and I'm not, like, Joy Boy has a great point, and he could, like, you know, he, he, he has a great explanation for it, but all I'm saying is, I think Uranus is used for like higher levels of world. It's like, like the decision to use Uranus. I think that is going to be chosen by like the higher levels of, of, of the world government. And then Buster calls are more like on the lower level end. You know what I mean? And the fact that 
we had like CP9, which I probably would look at like a lower level end of the world government, right? I, I think he, they were in charge of O'Hara. So they, they can, they, I don't think Spandam had access to calling Uranus, you know, but he had oh, access no, no, to no, 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 What I'm trying to say is, no, I get what you're trying to say. Ha- yeah, yeah. If Eam has the ability to use Uranus at that point, well, what what would you think he would do? Send some Marines to go blow it up or use Uranus to completely erase everything, make sure nothing escapes, especially when it's uh, knowledge about the Void Century, which, again, is one of the last things Emu I, wants out. I don't know, because... Rather, rather than an use Uranus to just blow up some islands that I revolted. Mean, I mean, like, why did they, if, if they were going to destroy O'Hara, why did they need, like, again, weren't they doing an investigation? Why did they need to go to O'Hara in the first place? Like, I mean, like, well, well, physically go there and talk to the O'Harans. I mean, for so the, they could know what they knew. Yeah, so I'm saying there was an investigation that needed to be done, so I think that's why they were put in charge to do handle that. But if... If Eam just says, like, I just, you know, I don't want them to exist no more, then he, you know, like, that's, like, if there needed that, to be that, work that's done. That's what would have happened, is what I'm saying. That's what, no. Nah. And I'm. Nah. If, if, he, I, if he had any, like, any. I get what you're saying, Joy. Of an idea that they knew anything, because they already knew that they found something out. And and I'm saying that's he why delegated. That's they were going after. What I'm saying is he delegated them to do an invest. He delegated him being higher. Up right, he delegated yes, because they hold didn't on. Let have me the finish. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. He, him being higher up, he delegated lower, the lower part of the world government to do whatever, investigate whatever they needed to do, and then you know get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Because Buster calls are still effective. Let's not act like they're not effective. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying they're as effective as Uranus. But if if there wasn't an investigation needed to be done and he just wanted something wiped out, he would he could have just said, "Hey, just wipe them out. Go use Uranus." Like that's all I'm saying. When he when he the moment he delegated them to to investigate, he left the power to for them to destroy the island through a Buster call. Is what I'm saying. But I get what you're saying, and, I, and I'm not I'm not arguing. I'm, I'm just giving you a little pushback. He had to, that he had to do that. Because they didn't have the power of urine. I get what you're saying. I'm just so I'm just, they had to. So, so I'm I not get, trying to argue about like but, why they're there. I, listen, because I know why. <laughs> like, I, I was given. I was given a, a alternative explanation. I got your explanation. You explained it like five times already. <laughs> okay. Y'all, then why he's still saying that? Because you the delegate. It's like I, obviously he had to. Because because he didn't have the power at the we time. Don't we, don't we don't know that. We don't yeah, know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. But we, I'm saying we got to understand did, it though. Now we got to understand it. If he it though did now. have the power of Uranus, there's no reason that he would have to give it to the military. Okay, you got that out your system. We go, are we moving? Because on why now? wouldn't he do that with the the did islands you, that revolted? You got that out your system. We we gonna move out on now, right? <laughs> I, I already explained. He just wants them gone. I explained that already. He wanted some going. You know something I've been curious about? Uh, I wonder uh, who said that stuff uh, about how the island never existed. I'm curious about who uh, said it. I think it was the Gorsay, possibly. Yeah, Gorsay. It was the Gorsay. I know, but like it's a transponder snail box and... The girls say weren't speaking through a transponder snail last time we seen them. No, no, no. The transponder snail was the the who said just sabo sabo. Then the rest was just girls say talking between each other. I know. We, we I'm saying how to speak. It had a transponder snail box. Yeah. Yes, it did. So I'm so I'm wondering like who said that? It, like like it, it's like it's not like they were talking to each other. It sounded like they were talking to someone. Oh, uh, for me, what I got is that they were just talking like, to each other. How do they, I they, were ta- they were they were talking to the communications team. Yeah, like the way the way they worded it, it's like it's like it's like they they, they were talking to someone and saying, you know, uh, that island. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're just talking to the communication team that was listening into the Denver revolutionary call. Pangea Castle because communications listen to me. You did not detect anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was talking, who exactly was talking. It was probably just some random uh, world government agent. I don't, I don't know. I know what you're talking about, though. Like the one who said communications listen to me. You did not detect anything today. You did not intercept anything. The kingdom of Lulugia, that country, never existed in the first place. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, uh, I have an idea for the why uh, they were able to do it in Lucia and not other places. If it's in fact during us, what if it works in a way like a satellite? It takes time for a satellite to reach a certain point in location, and so basically, Lucia was already targeted, and that's why it was so faithful. So maybe it takes time, you know, like and maybe the the moment the the thing to address that is fast, you have the bus to call is maybe faster to do it. And maybe it takes time when you set a course, it it will set to that course, you know. So maybe it's uh, a location thing, like it takes too much time to for the weapon to be there. Yeah. Yeah, and another another thing, I, I, I think they might be producing new world maps. Like, they might start producing new world maps because, you know, with the God Valley thing and how it mysteriously uh, vanished, yeah. the way, yeah. you, you know, they, 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 they produced new world maps and it wasn't a part of it. But also so, think yeah. of it. Think of think of it similar as Sugar's Devil Fruit. As her Devil Fruit took effect, when people turned to uh, toys, even the pictures were disappeared. They disappeared from pictures. Well, if it worked like that, the, they wouldn't have to tell them that the island never existed. But yeah, that's, I, yeah, that 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 entire discussion is very interesting. The way they said it. Yeah, I don't yeah know. again, I, I it think, belongs with Sengoku. Sengoku remembers about God Valley as well. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, it, yeah, just, I th I think it just destroys yeah. them. I yeah, I, I don't think it's a literal thing about not existing. I think it's like a slow process. Like I think people forgetting of God God Valley probably took a long time for them. I mean, it was thirty eight years ago, and you know and you gotta remember, there's like what millions of islands. Yeah, and in 38 years w with new maps, and then you never see it in a map, but you're just going to think you're crazy and it never existed. So, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's like in a literal sense. that the, It's just the Mandela effect. Yeah. yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. That's, also, that's a tough one. I mean, it's I was not thinking tough of something while, just... while, 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 while you were having your argument. I had a... I thought of something. What? You guys think that it's uh, maybe a uh, Vegapunk who created an artificial version of the Asian weapons? Mm, nah. It's just a crazy thought that came up to me, you know, because it made me really think of the satellite aspect. It said, "What if Vegapunk like basically created uh, his old version of it for Ibu?" Yeah, I don't. But I yeah. don't know. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. I mean, if he could re re replicate, you know, like old technology. You know, I mean, because if, if anybody could do it in the series, I would think it would be Vegapunk. Possibly. Yeah, Frank. but like he brought he brought he brought back Lodarius as pacifista, so he we know that he's very well versed with the old kingdom. Possibly Frankie the old too. Stories. Possibly, possibly Frankie, because I think because yeah. I think I think like Frankie's like I, I think I said this in a, a previous stream. I think Frankie's best feat in the series would be to do something on the level of Vegapunk. You know, to create Wait, something do. to like maybe be able to counter the SSG to create something that can counter them, you know, and undo Vegapunk or just to outsmart Vegapunk. Like that would be Frankie's greatest feat, in my opinion, to be able to uh, did you, beat Vegapunk did or you, outsmarting. Did you see the theory that say that Frankie might later on turn, transform himself into a Lunarian a cyborg? <laughs> they, they said they, they because they showed feature of the first time we saw Frankie. A lunar fire. Hit, now he's talking about his plating that's so powerful and he has this thing of always using his cooter burst to go faster, saying yeah. that he's throwing crates with a lunarian so he might you know like find those plants and doing better than uh, doing better than Vegapunk but without him. Yeah. I read on Reddit. It was interesting. It was interesting. It was a small one, but it was interesting. All right, so uh, let's kind of move on. You know, this is this is an interesting topic. You know, Joy Boy does have a a a great point, and I wasn't trying. You know, he he just stuck on that. You know, can't 
can't tell this man nothing, but it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been, I, I, I've been saying yes for months. One second. For months. One for second. months. I've been Look, saying yes. I, 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 I said your I said your theory is a very great theory and very likely. I was just given a a opposite opposite alternative. Yeah, and I was just refuting the Ohara thing. And I said you <laughs> might be right. But to be honest, we don't know. I don't know. No, I would ju- I would work. think that I would just think that whoever has the power of like I just would think that Eam just wouldn't give the power of old uh of what's it called? Um the ancient weapon to just anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, that, that, that would be he, something only he would pull the him and the Gorosei would pull the trigger on as far yeah. as when there's when it's gonna be used. And when we when we was in O'Hara, it seemed like Spandom had or Spandom's father, I can't remember his name. It's like spun them or I can't remember. Uh, he was kind of he seemed more in control of that situation than when it got destroyed. So, you know, and I don't see him at the le- at the level of decision making of of. Uh, oh, so he, you're saying Gorsay? How would? Huh? Oh, okay. But like, I yeah. thought, I thought, I thought. Wait, wait. So you guys were literally arguing for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's yeah, what I was trying my, to tell Joy, but I wasn't trying to argue with him. My, <laughs> no, my <laughs> reasoning was if if Emu had the power of Uranus at that time, he more than likely would have used it instead of sending Bandom's dad. But we have seen that because that, that just seems sent- a lot more logical. And also, it, like, if it wasn't for a Kainu, it would have failed anyway. Because there could have been a stowaway on the ship. And if he would have used Uranus, that wouldn't have even been a possibility. So all I'm saying is, from a logical standpoint, if Emu had the power of Uranus, he wouldn't have to give it to Spandom's at the use. He would just use it himself. And but again, we, we don't really know why. The, the, like, we don't really know what was up with Lulu. Lulu Asia, other than it was like a revolt, a, a revolting country, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe I they did, it. maybe they didn't want to wipe out or just wipe out O'Hara, you know? I yeah. bet it was just a test subject. Because, because then y'all say, then y'all say that they, Ooh, they went there. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. Then y'all say they went there to investigate what they knew first. Well, they knew that they found something out about the Void Century. But but they and went then, there to they went there to confirm it, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they they confirmed it and then destroyed it. Yeah. Maybe like uh, y- y- even even then if they went for the confirmation, maybe it gets the confirmation and just uses urine. And maybe if the, they have maybe power. the buster call was just more immediate, kind of like what Cube said. It was more yeah, immediate. yeah. Like we we don't know at all, but. I mean, there's a lot of arguments you can make for both sides, but because that's, like that's all it, I'm saying. Like, it, if it does take time, Emu would have had the time to set it up uh, by the time that uh, Nico Robin's mom escaped and got back to the island. It could also explain the validity of saying he's really an unlucky man, and this is fate. It really shows that it was really one chance out of a million, and he found himself on the wrong island. It also makes it more, you know, more solid why they call it a fate. Well, Not like it was close, but anyway, yeah. Okay, so uh, kind of moving on to the last, the last part of the chapter where we got, we're in this this uh, winter island every area, right? It doesn't seem like this is the Sphinx area though, you know, like they no. don't, you know. So it seems like they're near a different island than Sphinx. Yeah. So I think. I think it's big uh, upon the current base of operation. And what? that's you why Bonnie was there. What, There's where? a nightmare? I thought this was just a... I thought it was just winter. Well, it's the but, climate of the island. Nami says they're they're in the island's climate zone. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What, island did, what island did you say, Joy Boy? I didn't hear. Uh, Vega Punk's current base of operations. Ooh, that's a good idea. And, I was gonna say Alba, and that's but... what, like, if, and if we were going with like um, Kuma sending Bonnie away, but uh, he could have been sending Bonnie to Vegapunk's Island. 
because she she probably wants to know a way to revert Kuma back if she can't with her fruit. That, uh, and then she got caught up in that Eddie. That would be like if Vegapunk is if this was Vegapunk's current island. That'd be weird that Vegapunk loved Winter Islands. <laughs> You know, well, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's just he like was home. born on a winter island. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I'm saying it's like you just must have an affinity to being. Maybe it just but, feels like home. But also with what that, like I was thinking about like um, when like scientists are working on like really volatile stuff, like they do it in the Antarctic because there's nobody around, like 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 on bio weapons and shit. Yeah, like. Like they they do that a lot in the Antarctic because there's no no one around and then that virus also can't like survive in that cold of climate. Yeah. yeah but uh, I was gonna say, what if it's uh, what if it's uh, Kuma's kingdom? I mean, that wouldn't change anything for the Vegapunk part. But like, what if it was just Kuma's kingdom? I think that's a possibility. Uh, that's a possibility. Yeah, too. that could that that's. Was Jory Bond in, was Jory Bond was Kuma Kingdom in the New World? Uh, I don't yeah. know, but well, we don't even really know if he was a king. But I think he was said to be a king. Well, it, it was a theory based off of uh, peop, uh, his epithet being the tyrant. Now I think they said he was the king of a nation. Yeah, me too. I'm pretty sure. They, yeah, they, he was king. He they, was king of, a, of a kingdom. Because supposedly he sacrificed yeah, he himself. The... He sacrificed yeah. himself to protect his people. Yeah, yeah he was the. And they named the him a tyrant, bit. and did. Yeah. But I, mean, so, I don't know what the exact chapter. I still have an interesting take one though. But, but I have an interesting but, take about the winter stuff. But uh, I think. It's this winter stuff is to address uh, what Luffy once said and what Buggy said about Blackbeard, that people from winter uh, from winter uh, places sleep less. And we know that Blackbeard almost never sleeps, so I do think that it's going to open up into this type of story arc. We might get some more information about that. Okay, so Kuma was, uh, the king, Kuma was the king of uh, Sorbet Kingdom, but that's in the South Blue. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, yeah. Not at all. I didn't so, think it was going to be in the so maybe it's okay. So I think it'll give some clues on Blackbeard if it's a, a winter city. Because Luffy said it at Drum Island, and the Buggy made a reference about Blackbeard never sleeping. And so I do feel like we might have an address on another climate. Because we had Punk Hazard, but it was like fire, and but mostly, mostly it was in the laboratory. The last time was Drum Island, so I do think that we're gonna have a reveal about people well, who punk, come from the punk winter hazard, countries. Punk Hazard wasn't originally a, a winter country, though. Exactly. It was just turned into, it was just turned into one yeah. because of Aokiji and Akainu. Yeah. But yeah. I do feel like it's going to be that. So uh, it, it looks like Luffy and Chopper are going, are going to be separated, and we're getting uh, Jory Bonnie. So. That we could get some information. Chopper. We could, huh? What'd you say? Angel? Okay, right, whatever. Chopper got blown Wait, off the ship. Uh, Chopper got blown off the ship, Angel. Yeah. Luffy grabbed on the Chopper and, and flew off got... with him. And yeah. Oh, okay. And, and we got uh, Jory Bonnie. So that might mean. So I'm assuming that's just Oda's way of splitting them up, you know, because Oda loves splitting up the crew. <laughs> he likes to give us a, a short time where we can enjoy them together, and then he splits them up again. So um, they and, might get the power up oh, to their devil fruits. They have similar devil fruits, like the, they have the same type. Yeah, and then Jory Bonnie, the, may, the, uh, but, if if it was like Frankie and Luffy, I could see this going into sl- some like Vega Punk stuff. It feels like Frankie and Luffy. Even though it could still go Vegapunk stuff, but... Because, yeah, I don't know. But uh, Jory Bonnie, though. You know, we got Jory Bonnie as well. So that might eventually lead to her talking to Luffy about what happened and maybe tell her about Vivi. Like, hey, they got Vivi, whatever. 
And then that leads to whatever the next arc is. To them having to rescue Vivi. It's just my yeah. speculation though. Just my little speculation. Y'all got y'all got any uh predictions moving forward? You know, before we wrap well, this 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 discussion up. Oh yeah. I oh, wanna okay. I also want I wanna say something. Hold on. Okay. I gotta go back to this. Yeah. You, you got the floor. Okay, well. Angel. Do you I'll need... finish my chopper and Luffy think quickly while he finishes his uh, thoughts. Uh, the okay. thing I was saying is that I do feel like we're going to have a small mini adventure of Luffy and uh, Chopper. And I do feel like since Chopper studied so much as human devil fruit, he might give insight and then maybe Luffy will give him insight on how to how to release his zone aspect of his devil fruit. Like how, like I think since Chopper is very intelligent, but he's also the naive part, I think we're going to have funny scenes, but also scenes where they're going to get, they're both going to get personal breakthrough. So you're and saying, he was already a beast, but you're saying the many Chopper and Luffy training art. I like it. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> yeah. Or exchange, exchanging traits like from one another. And like, we know that Luffy has Yonko level in strength, but does he have the same stamina as, as a white beard or a Kaido to last as long as them? Maybe Chopper will help him, you know, unlock that aspect, making him a full-blown Yonko. Well, like, with that, like, you... L- Luffy still doesn't know his true fruit, right? Yeah. He still thinks so it's maybe... the Gummo Gummo. So. Yeah. So, may- so maybe we might have some interesting stuff. Like, uh, And it's, it's going to be funny because it's Luffy, the craziest of the crew, that, is, that doesn't think about consequences or natural selection. And we have Chopper, who is the most naive of the crew. And the most innocent one. So it's going to be very funny. That's for sure. But I do think that we're going to get some more intellectual aspects of their devil fruits. Because I think Chopper is going to... Luffy will be his patient in a, in a way. like Because Luffy is maybe going to talk to him about something. And then it's going to make Chopper think. I don't know. But I do think that we're going to get some interesting and interesting twist between their, their adventure. All right. Uh, Andrew, have you figured out what you wanted to say? Joy boy. Uh, yeah, I, uh, like I said, I, I I really think it's Vegapunk time. It's Vegapunk's like time that. to shine. I mean, well, yes, Oda, Oda said he was bringing Vegapunk. Um, he was bringing Vegapunk. Supposedly, he was supposed to bring him in Wano and never did. Um, so we're still kind of close to Wano. So I mean, it still could be prime time. Plus, Vegapunk could have been on those world government ships and seeing how close we are f- from this island to Wano, you know, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I don't know. Even how, if I Vegapunk's mean, not there, like, I, I think we're still going to get, like, the heavy Vegapunk stuff on this island. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we we could get, we could get some Vegapunk, some Devil Fruit stuff, so maybe some explanation on Blackbeard, maybe. You know, because he's from the, a snow island or whatever. So maybe, yeah. maybe if we get a combination of those, those kind of interlace, like maybe maybe Vega Punk understands why Blackbeard's able to eat multiple devil fruits or something. I don't know. Like especially if Vega Punk is there to explain, that would that would definitely be more, you know, useful. <laughs> Have somebody who understands devil fruits explain them. Yeah, man. So, Angel. Oh, I did. I, uh, go, yeah, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Joy Boy. I did have one more thing. I, I don't think we'll learn Luffy's dream until Luffy versus Blackbeard. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Maybe. I think they're going to like, dreams. Yeah, Blackbeard was introduced with the topic of dreams. Yeah. So, I, I think that's when Oda is going to choose to reveal it. Okay. Angel. Well. Can't find one I've looked before. So, uh, sorry about that. Do you have any predictions before we wrap this up? Nope. Said no. Nah, I don't got no predictions. All right. Well, I mean, anybody got anything else to add before? You know, this is speak now. Or forever hold your peace until next Sunday after. 
I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that after I wrap it up. But go ahead. Anybody got any? I was just, just going to give props to um, to Joy Boy, uh, I think two months ago when we had the reveal of uh, Sabos uh, succeeding what he did. He reminded us that Skuma had that teleportation down food. So we might have uh, uh, somebody popping up on the cruise ship. So we, we, we debated that it might have been Vivi or Sabo, but uh, he was pretty close on it. So I want to give him props for that. I don't give him that much props, though. So Savor it. I don't understand, but Jesus, your DMs. Huh? You could chill in the DMs. All right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, you broke up. I, like, I didn't you know. hear what you said. Oh, broke up? Oh, yeah, it started raining. Oh. All right, well, you know, that's all my predictions pretty much. Um, I do believe whatever that thing is, is Uranus, you know, which kind of kills my theory on it being the devil fruit to a degree, you know. Yeah, I guess it, it, it pretty much kills that. <laughs> but, hey, you know, I don't mind being wrong, you know. I, 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 hey, I love when Oda exceeds expectations I it, I did say I I did say that I do believe it has something to do with the sky though. You know what I'm saying? A, a possible weather machine, which it seemed like it could be kind of a weather machine. I mean, even though that didn't exactly look like lightning, but you know, it still it still looked like a flying contraption that has to do with the sky. And that was definitely one of my earlier theories. So uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping it had something to do with Anel as well, but. That's that's neither here nor there. Anyway, let me wrap this up. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitch so you know when I go live and you could engage with me in real time. Also, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the uh, chapter we talked about. Let me know your predictions, your theories, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, join the Discord, especially if you want to engage with me. That's where I'm the most active. And yeah, it's your boy, Sean P. The Bluff God. I got Angel, the Joy Boy, and Cube with me. Peace. Thanks, guys, for having me. Peace. Peace.